Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and welcome back to another episode of Power Moves, where we're gonna continue talking about how to model this horn for this helmet. This might be something that you do for a cosplay project to kind of 3D print out a prop, but maybe there's some other skills that you'll learn from the series that you can use in your own application. Now today we're going to talk about something really cool. The horn in the final version looks pretty close to the illustration, but the horn that we've created in our version gets a little thin in this middle section here. Well, did you know that in SolidWorks, you can actually inject an additional loft profile without having to roll back and start all over again from the beginning? And the way that this works is you right mouse button on a loft feature in the tree, and from the right mouse button, you can choose the command add loft section. Now, when you go to add a new loft section to this profile, you can see that what SolidWorks is doing is generating a new plane on the fly, and then you can rotate this plane's angle, so you can grab the, the border of the plane and rotate it, or you can drag this, this guy here to control the location of that new plane. But when you're done looking at this thing, you can see that SolidWorks is generating a new, basically an intersection curve, wherever that plane happens to be running through the model. Now, what I like to do is I like to start out by actually creating my own plane and then using this option here for use selected plane. So here's what this is gonna look like. We're gonna roll back to just after that projected curve. So here you see the projected curve. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the command sketch, 3D sketch, and we're gonna create a point on that projected curve. Now, you can put this point wherever you want, but really what you want to do, let me exit this 3D sketch. You want that point to be kind of in the area where the loft doesn't look right. So in this case, we can see here that it's it's right about here that the loft doesn't look right. So maybe I'll edit that 3D sketch and just drag that point down just a little bit. The loft gets a little bit narrow there. Maybe I'll add a dimension from the uh, origin to that location. So from the origin to that location, or maybe from the top plane to that location. And that way I've got a dimension that I can adjust if I need to make a subtle adjustment to the location of that uh, point. So we can add in a dimension there to kind of lock down that location. Then we can exit that sketch. So all we did was create a 3D sketch there. Let's roll back to that 3D sketch. All we did was create a 3D sketch there of that point. And now what we can do is we can choose the command features reference geometry plane. This is just like what we did a few steps ago when we were making the plane which was perpendicular to a curve at a point. So now we've created a new plane which is perpendicular to our projected curve and it's at the location of that 3D sketch point. So now we are going to uh, finish creating that plane. We'll rename this, I'll call this one um, injected plane for loft injected plane for loft. And now we're gonna roll down here in the tree back down to the loft and we're gonna right mouse button on that surface loft and we're gonna say, add loft section. So we do add loft section here and now we're gonna say use selected plane. We're gonna pick this plane here, injected plane for loft and we're gonna hit the green check mark. And what SolidWorks has done is created an additional loft profile here. So this sketch 11 wasn't part of the loft before. We had the lower profile, the upper profile, and the path, but we didn't have this sketch 11 before. And what is that sketch 11? Well, if I edit that sketch, it's basically just an intersection curve at the location of that plane that we created. Well, we can get rid of that intersection curve and then we could replace that with a circle. So let's say we make a circle here with a diameter of 30 millimeters. And now we exit that sketch. Well, now that circle with the diameter of 30 millimeters is part of this loft. So if we're looking at the loft here from the front view, we click on that sketch 11 with a diameter 30, we could increase that to 35. Hey, that's looking a little bit better. Maybe 38. Ooh, that's even better. Maybe make that 40. Oh yeah, that's looking real good. And then if we needed to make any other adjustments, like if we wanted this to be a little bit higher up to match these curves here, well, we could go back to that 3D sketch of the point and then adjust this dimension here. Let's make that 205. So see how we were able to kind of push the location of that plane up to control where that additional girth in that horn is gonna be located. So that's what's known as right mouse button on a loft and choose add loft section. It lets you inject an additional loft plane into your loft without needing to roll back to the very beginning, without needing to eliminate that loft and recreate it from scratch. And it's a really helpful tool when you're doing this type of work. So if you enjoyed today's lesson, be sure to let me know down in the comments, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and of course, be sure to come back for the next episode of Power Moves.